Hi, this is Vu, and this is my review of the Moment app. The first thing I like about this app is that it lets you set your white balance manually. Most LED panels are 5000K, but teeth throw off automatic white balance, so being able to set that manually is invaluable. Next, we're going to set an autofocus distance. Now, this app is geared towards videographers, and so the minimum focus distance, not quite as close as you can get with a normal iPhone camera app, but one cool thing is we can set it at minimum focus and then move the teeth in and out. You'll notice as I move in and out, the edges of the teeth highlight neon green. That means that is in focus and you can snap your picture. You can see here as we put the mirror down, we can go ahead and move in and out. And as soon as we see green on those cusp tips or in the cusp grooves even better, we are in sharp focus and are free to snap a picture there. We can also, uh, I'm using the 2x telephoto lens, but you can also pinch to zoom to get a closer crop of the teeth. I don't think this really helps because it's digital zoom, but it might be better for composition reasons for you to zoom in and get that for presentation. But I found after I did this shot and I was showing the patient these photos, it was better just to start from his full arch occlusals and zoom on in. If we're using my phone rig, you'll get a better look at that a little later. And we're shooting this on an iPhone 11 Pro and editing this all in iMovie. You can see there beautifully the lower arch coming into focus with the neon green dots as we move in and out. It's a beautiful way to get quick confirmation of focus without having to go back, review your image, and pinch to zoom to see if you got it in sharply. So I really like focus speaking. I know it's kind of a little bit of a throwback, but my buddy Nate Yang out of UOP, he loves the push-pull method. All right, here's my uh, VU rig you saw there very briefly. You can go to photodonis.com if you want more information on that. I wanted to show off one other aspect of Moment, which I think is a killer feature for us old school photographers here. We can, again, I'm setting it over from scratch, but we can set our white balance really quickly. We can also set our EV exposure compensation in advance. So you can set like minus one if you want a darker image or plus one if you want a brighter image automatically. Minus one for that Italiano look, of course. You can also change the shutter speed in advance. I'm setting it here to 1 60th. And once you're done setting all that, what you can go ahead and do is you can hit the preset button on the side. I'm just going through and reviewing settings. I don't know why. But you can hit the preset uh, menu here, and you can save all your settings as a preset. And the cool thing about that is when you go back into the app, you can go ahead and hit that preset button, and it will auto-recall all those preferred settings for your dental photography. I think that's a wonderful feature. Well, I'm Vu. And thank you very much for watching this. I think you will have a great time shooting with the Moment app. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments on this. I mean, check out that peak focus peaking. Really neat way to shoot dental photography, in my opinion, because sometimes it's really hard for us to confirm focus. So having this little extra eight, every little help we can get is great. It's a little farther out than I'd like. Hopefully we can uh, try out the Moment telephoto or macro lens and see if we can improve upon that. But yeah, we can do some digital zoom printing too here. So thanks for watching. Enjoy.